Doobie doobie doo, 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 doo. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Ash Brown. This is the Ash Brown Uncensored Show. Okay, I've got a reminder Here's coming a reminder. in. Reminder. Uncensored Show. Ah, oh, see, I already got um, Alexa. <laughs> Uncensored Show. This is couldn't be any more awkward than what it is. It is what it is. Uh, I appreciate y'all. <laughs> As you can see, I am trying to do better. In 2022, I missed last week. I know I was doing a lot of stuff. I was moving some things around. I had some peeps that were coming into town and moving to Atlanta, even though we're full. Atlanta is full, y'all. Okay, we don't need no more people moving down here. But some of my peeps came out from out of state and they're starting their new journey here in the A town. So I was dealing with all that stuff and it was the first of the year and it was just all this craziness going on. So I hope that each and every one of you guys have had. A fantabulous start to the first of the year. I have to say for me, for myself, and I, I've had an amazing first of the year. I've had an amazing end of last year. It's just been phenomenal. And one of the main reasons of that is that, as you can see as I titled the episode, I get ghosts real quick. I get ghosts real quick. I found that I was continuing friendships connections, family relatives, and I mean, just all, I was continuing those connections and those vibes because, oh, well, they've known you since you were two, and oh, you guys went to middle school together, and all oh, this other crazy stuff, and I came to the conclusion that some of these people were very toxic. A lot of these people were very, very toxic, and I'm into the state of my life where my peace, my happiness, my contentment with Everything that I've got going on, it relies heavily and you know that you're the average of the people that you hang around. You're, there's a little sliver percentage of you in those people and vice versa. And I found that I was spending a lot of time dealing with people that were not interested in bettering their situation. I was dealing with a lot of people that were living in fantasy land. A lot of people that were not dealing with their hurt or their grief or their misfortune too well. And everyone has that, myself included. I still deal with that on a daily basis a lot of times. I still go to a therapist. I'm not ashamed to say it. I'll put it out there into the universe. I sure do. <laughs> and it's been one of the most freeing things for me to be able to really open up about my feelings and open up about some of the things that I was dealing with and that I still deal with. But I was spending way too much time giving it out to these people that were destructive, these people that were just so toxic. And more times than none, these people didn't even realize that they were being toxic. They didn't realize it. I didn't really realize it. But the minute that the light bulb went off and it said, Ash, you need to leave these people behind. I just leave them. I leave them. No trace. I'm not going to give you this long explanation. I'm not going to say what you did wrong, how you can do better in the future, how we can. No. I am nearly 40 years old. <laughs> I am just a few years from 40 and I'm thankful and I'm grateful for this position that I'm in. But I am... I'm over and done with the BS of life, the BS that people want to put on you, people that want to just come and just dump their whole situation on you so they don't feel so heavy with it. I'm over that. I'm changing phone numbers. I'm moving a couple of times. I know people are like, oh my God, well, is she still in Ithonia or is she still over? I'm a little bit of everywhere, baby. I'm a little bit of everywhere. I've changed zip codes more in the last two years than I have my entire life. I got mail going to all kind of different cities in and throughout the U.S. right now. And I got stuff forwarded to me back here. But that's neither here nor there. I'm changing phone numbers. I'm dropping phone numbers. I am doing whatever it is to maintain my peace of mind. I no longer allow people to disrupt my, my peace, my stability, and my mindset. I no longer do that. And when I let that go and I just started doing me, when I tell you the flag just started to open, I'm like, ooh, 
Look at that. Won't God do it? Won't he do it? He, she, I think God's a woman personally, but that's just me. That's just another, that's another topic for another day. We ain't going to go down that street because I know some of y'all probably turn up your nose. Ah, and you mean God is a woman? God doesn't have a gender. Hmm. Hmm. I'm talking about something. I'm talking about something. But, yeah. I just get ghosts real quick, y'all. I don't get upset no more. I don't sit up there and be cussing people out on social media. I didn't really do that before anyways, but I had some people that tried to attack me on social and try to get a reaction out of me. I just let it go. I just let it all the way go. And I'm just enjoying my life. I'm enjoying my life. People that want to interject their own opinion in on your life, tell them to go kick rock somewhere. I had a relative one time to tell me right before I was about to go for basic training for the army and my mom was in ICU. She was on a ventilator. She wasn't even breathing on her own. And this person called me and asked me why I joined the army because I should know that they're just going to send me overseas to get killed. I didn't need it in that moment. I didn't need that in that moment. I really did not need that energy from that person. And it let me further know from that point on, I don't need to have interaction with this person. This person does not need access to me. So access denied. I had a friendship that I tried to, okay, let's keep it 100. I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all because y'all know my business anyways. You know, I'll put it out there. So I had an ex that I was really close with. And I was under the illusion that we had a good friendship. So even though we weren't going to be a couple, that we could still deal with something that remotely resembled a friendship. I was under this illusion. Some people, you're not able to be friends with y'all. Just straight up, up and down. Some people are not capable of being a friend to you. And you have to take that for what it is and move accordingly. So this person, he was trying his damnness to try to, I guess, reprogram my thinking. (laughs) And I guess he didn't realize that, number one, I was a communications major. And when I say communications, I'm talking about communications as a human science. I study people for a living, y'all, okay? Human interaction. I'm looking at pronunciations. I'm looking at all kind of, you know punctuation at the end of the sentence I'm looking at all of that that that's all a part of the puzzle which is communications as a human science but that's another story so every week he would ask me about if I changed my mind about having kids because somewhere in his warped thinking he was under the impression that I wanted to have his kid or I would somehow come about the idea of wanting to have his baby even though he had several kids that he wasn't really paying attention to. But that's neither here nor there. But every week he would ask me that, and every week I would find another creative way of telling him, no, not interested. He even went as far as to ask me, well, if God came down and asked you if you have a baby, what would you say to God? And I basically answered. I said, well, should I be so fortunate that God comes down from heaven To seek me out specifically, to ask me that question, I would have to say, God is probably going to ask me something else about other things that I've done in this life that I really probably need to have a decent answer for, even though it's God and God already knows why I did what I did what I did. Mm. Pretty sure that's not going to be on the radar of what God will ask me, should God decide to come down and ask me a question. And it just goes back into some people are sick, they're toxic, and they're never going to change. So that pseudo friendship had to end. Had to end because in all honesty and the truth of it, it never really began. He already in his mind thought of who I was going to be in his life and to his situation. And I hadn't gone that far. (laughs) I I hadn't gotten that far. It just, it wasn't for me. And he was not okay with just being a friend. He was not okay with that. 
and I had to cut ties. I had to cut ties with that. So I had to let that go. And I had a friend, an ex-friend, I should say, reach out to me on social media. And I hate that, y'all. That is so impersonal. But I guess how else can they reach you when they don't have your phone number? (laughs) They don't know where your family lives anymore. Yeah, because everyone's moved about so much and everybody's so everywhere. So they might as well reach out to you on social media, right? Mm. So they hit me up on Messenger and wrote out like three paragraphs about our friendship and how we were in elementary together and they got these many kids now and they just want to reconnect because I was the bestest friend to them and all this stuff. So it took you like 20 years to remember that I was a good friend to you. Hmm. Must not have been that good of a friendship. Must not have. So I didn't respond. I, I didn't. I, I didn't feel the need to. Essentially, this person's a stranger. We may have memories from the past, but I don't know you today. In the same way, you don't know me. All you see is hundred thousand downloads on all major platforms. You see Spotify, iTunes, iHeartRadio. And all of a sudden, oh my goodness, you know, Ashley is my good, good friend from fourth grade. Oh my gosh, she's my good up, good up friend. She's my good, good friend. Yeah, I call BS on that. And I don't think about it until someone brings it up. That's how I deal with things today. And it's made life so much easier, y'all. It's made it so much easier. I, I tell you, when you just let things go... And just get ghost. That's it. That's all you do. Get get ghost. Get ghost. Real quick. (laughs) So that's my little tidbit for the day. I hope that you guys have a wonderful, blessed Sunday. I know that you're going to have an even more prosperous week. It's going to be an amazing week for you. Some good things. Some good projections are coming out of this week for you. And I hope that you guys stay tuned. Of course, if you're not following me already on social media, I am One Love Ash, the number one, L O V E A S H, on every platform. And if you haven't already, check out the Ash Said It Show on every podcasting platform. Yes, the Ash Said It Show is available everywhere, y'all. Over 100,000 downloads worldwide, over half a million streams worldwide, and 1,800 plus episodes. I can't make this stuff up. I can't. I could try, but it wouldn't be nearly as entertaining. (laughs) It wouldn't be. But I love y'all. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me. And we will continue to grow and continue to make some magic happen, baby. Stay tuned. I'm going to holler at y'all later. Have a great week.